Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Vertical Slice. I'm Gareth, and today we will be having a quick look at Papers, Please. Let's, let's just go back over, bump up the sound, because you will want to hear this main menu sound. Oh, listen to that. Listen to the pomp and circumstance of Papers, Please. So it's a, it's a small independent game. Uh, it is quite unique in that uh, what you are doing is not really actually, I mean, when you come down to it, is it a whole load of fun? I don't know. It's difficult to tell, really. Um, but the idea is you are an immigration inspector in a, uh, a small kind of ex-Soviet country, or no, currently Soviet country, currently uh, kind of like Eastern Bloc country. Uh, and it is your, there's been a war um, and you are manning the border checkpoint in a disputed, like, Town. So half the town is in one country, half the town is in another country. Um, and it's your job to police the uh, immigration office uh, when people are trying to get over the border. The best way to do it is to show you where I've got to so far. So I'm on day 14 of my... I don't know how long it goes on for. I think it's about a month. Um, I am playing in easy mode, I'm afraid, because I'm, I'm not good at this game. So I, I'm giving myself a bit of a crutch in terms of how much money I'm getting. But everyone is still alive. And I've been able to buy a nicer apartment. I think that's nicer. It's C7. I have no idea what these apartments look like, but I'll show you the office anyway. So what's going on today? It's 6th of December 1982. The country is Astoska. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, criminal safe haven. Ooh, okay. So we would be letting in too many criminals, apparently. Whistleblower denied asylum. Very topical. Topical with Edward Snowden. Let's walk to work. December 6th, 1982. It's still very loud, isn't it? Whoa. Okay, so here we are. Let me just turn down the sound as well. Sorry, I know it sounds nice, but I need to hear what I'm doing. That's still too loud. That's slightly better. Okay. So, Inspector, the Ministry of Justice has requested our support. Daily bulletins will now contain a list of the top three most wanted international criminals. Check faces against entrance and detain suspects immediately. Glory to Astoska. Uh, they always say that. So here are today's criminals. Uh, I guess we'll have to look out for them. I mean, it'd be nice if we could know their names rather than just their faces. Having that list, I'll have to have that list basically on the desk at all times. So this is the office, basically. These things, I don't need this. So I was awarded this by the minister. The minister got out of his car, walked up here and gave me this for sufficient. I'm, I'm frightened if I throw it away, throw it over the desk, he'll come back and it'll be like, where is that award? So I haven't got rid of it. So let's just put it over here so people can see it. This thing is some kind of weird um, note I was given by a, a, a spy, I think it is. And a guy called, if you put that down there, you see Mikhail Satarov came through. However, I'm still waiting for the second person, Stephany Grary Star. I don't know what that star means. But uh, yeah, I'm waiting for him to come through still. So basically he will have inadequate documentation. And if I'm to help the resistance, I think I have to let him through. But we need to hide these over here as well because, you know, I don't need them. These are cards that some guy just said to me, look, I'm an engineer. If any engineers come by, can you just hand out my cards? That'd be great. So I've been handing them out to people who are coming into the country as engineers. And this thing, the Astuska ass kickers, um, some guy gave to me um, because he'd won, but the problem is he didn't have a passport, so I couldn't let him in. And he and he said, "But look, man, I lost my passport." And I said, "Well, tough. I, I got given an entry visa, exit visa, and it just says the exit visa to, for denials only. So he literally could not enter. So we'll put all that over here because we don't actually need it. So we will need that out. The other thing we'll need is the rules and regulations handbook." So there are lots of rules to keep up with. The rules get longer and longer as you continue playing. We are now at a state where all people require a passport. Everyone has, must have documents which are current. So anything which expired before 6th of December 1982 has to be uh, checked. By the way, great function on this game is that you can reset the date format. By default, it comes in American format. You can set it to British format. That is superb. I, I, hats off to the game for doing that. So citizens must have an ID card. That's people who are Astuskan. Uh, foreigners require an entry permit. Workers must have a work pass. So that means foreigners require not just a work, an entry permit, but a work pass as well if they are working. Um, no weapons or contraband, of course. 
diplomatic diplomats require authorization, so they will have just a passport and just their authorization thing. Uh, foreigners require an ID supplement, so this is something new. Now foreigners, if they are workers, require four pieces of documentation to get in. Um, the ID supplement is basically just to check they are who they are. So I will probably be bad at this because I am playing it much slower. The other thing is this country map here. So we are here in uh, Greston. And here's our country, Astuska. So you have to look out for the issuing cities on the passports. You have to look out for the districts on the passports. The documentation, here you are. This is what ID cards look like. These are the valid uh, districts on the ID cards. Sometimes people will have fake ID cards. So one of these districts won't be real. Um, and you have to check for diplomatic seals and issuing cities on other countries as well. So I normally set it to have the regional map open because that is often where I want to go. I'm going to push that all the way to the side because we just want to see their faces, basically. Um, but I need the map open because I will often have to be referring to that. So, as you can see, the queue to get in is not short. <laughs> and some people, these people at the back, I doubt they've ever gotten to the front of the queue. And we're open from 6am to 6pm. Time is paused, thankfully, now, while I'm just acquainting myself with everything I've got to do. Uh, but when it gets in there, will get quite hectic. So let's see how many I do. Um, I, it probably will be quite poor. So here we go. Let's open up. Next. Hello. Right. OK. She is from the United Federation. Chorister City. That's valid. She is female. Her passport expires in 84. That's fine. Uh, entry visa. So Glasses. Yes, she does have glasses. She's 58 kilograms. Yes, she's 58 kilograms. Passport. We don't need to know that. Glasses. Let's see supplement. Katerina. So check the codes match. Katerina Makovic. Yeah, immigrate. It hasn't expired yet. Yeah. Okay, right. Approve. Stamp. You don't have to hit the passport directly, but yep. Yeah, give everything back and then through. Next person. That was way too slow. Oh God, there was something wrong. Oh, she was a wanted criminal! Damn it! Oh, she... Uh, oh, so already d off to a great start here. I think I'll replay this day when I actually do it. Short wear, hair, wavy. He does not have short wavy hair. Oh, does he? It doesn't look like short wavy hair to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1984, Lestrandi. He's not a wanted criminal. Oh, I've just remembered that thing. Raul Mendoza, 1982, 24th. Yep, that's fine. The codes match. It has an official stamp. He is 55 kilograms. He is around the same height. Republia, let's check the issuing city. Oh dear, this is going so slow. Uh, the Strandy, yep, okay. Let's stamp that. That probably is invalid as well. But go, just get out of my sight. Next. <laughs> Oh dear. More than two incorrect people and you start getting docked pay. So I'll come to visit friends. Uh, doesn't look like a, a, a criminal. Okay, so let's have a look. His passport, 1984. Yep, that's fine. He doesn't really look much like his picture. So you come down here, you click this and compare. Oh, matching data apparently. So one of the times when we actually do get someone who isn't real, we'll do that. Uh, he's from Republia. Boston, yes, Boston, that's a correct issuing city. Codes are correct. The names seem correct. Uh, 30th, yep. Uh, oh, yep. All right, yep. I'm doing this way too fast. I bet something was wrong there. Okay. Wait, wait, was he immigrating? I can't remember why he came to the country. Oh, damn it. Missing ID supplement in an invalid way. I knew it. I'm doing so poorly. Right. Okay, she has a work pass. She's an engineer. I'm going to give her that card. Um, okay, so Great Rapid, um, and we want to have a look in here, United Federation, Great Rapid is an issuing city, she's female, she looks correct, hang on, is she one of the, mm. no, okay, is she that person, no, alright, okay, we're, do we're, we're doing very well, we've got one person right so far, right, okay, she has a passport, Einheim Klom, Einheim Klom, yes, it ha it's valid still, it's 83, she has that, bobbed hair, she does have bobbed hair, she is 64 kilograms, uh, expires on the 15th of December, yep, yeah, that's fine, put that back, uh, she is here to work for three months, what did she say she was here for, job here, she stays 90 days, yep, yeah, that's fine, 
Expires the 24th of the thing. Are the codes correct on the passport and the thing? Yes. Oh, dear. Right. Approved. I'm doing so poorly. I bet that's bet that's wrong. It just shows, doesn't it? There's so many rules to keep up with. It is as complicated as anything. Right. This is... He's from Obrastan. Uh, murderous. Yes, that's correct. He... Does look like his passport. Oxlong Misha. Short cropped hair. Yes, he does have that. He is the correct weight. He seems the correct height. Expires on the 10th, so that's fine. That's valid. Uh, transit through the country. What did he say? Transiting. Yep. Uh, codes are correct. Uh, 24th. Oh, Misha Oxlong. Yep, that seems fine as well. Okay. Once again, I know I haven't denied anyone yet, but I still haven't found anyone who I think actually needs denying. I think I'm just missing it. So five people went, were doing very poorly so far. Okay, that person was valid. Right, Republia. She's female. Oh, wait, I think this lady. Oh, the game has jammed. That is the very first... Oh, that was the very first time that had happened. This lady is not well, a wanted criminal. So, no, don't, we're not going to approve her. Oh, we want to inspect there. So we're going to interrogate her. Hmm. We're detaining this lady. So now the guards come down and they take her away and they give her. Ooh, I'm there. They, uh, you know, they ha give her a cup of tea. She has a nice time. Next, please. We need to keep the line moving. Keep the line moving. If we stop for a moment, we will lose everything. OK, so he has an entry visa. Wait, how's he? Uh, hang on. Yeah. Why has he got two passports? Oh dear, oh god, so this guy is not is up to something bad. <laughs> that guy has two passports, there's definitely a mistake there. So, immediately, I've never seen that happen before where immediately some guy just hands over the incorrect papers and it says detain just immediately. This guy is in construction, so, this lady I should say. Uh, Odina, Christina... Uh, yep, 83, female from Mergerus, Oberstant, Mergerus is a correct Hirshing City, uh, she isn't one of the wanted criminals, um, when, what are the code, what's the code on her work pass, is it the same as the one there, it seems to be, 16th, yep, that hasn't expired, Christina, yep, yeah, Odina, yep, okay, how tall is she, Oh, that expires tomorrow, careful, 75, yep, okay, I think this lady, ooh, is there a valid stamp on this one? Yes, there is, okay, I think she's valid, right, give her an approval. She's through. So you see, you cannot let up for a moment in this, it will not let you. It requires ultimate concentration, this thing. Oh, damn it! So there you go, I've been penaltied by five credits because she had invisible description. I didn't see that at all, so I'm doing incredibly badly, right. He's staying for nine months. Uh, time is running out now. Female Antigra. Wait, is that a lady? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, doesn't look like a wanted criminal. Glorian, 94. Oh, this is the person I have to let through. Stephen E. Grayer. So I'm going to approve them, even though their papers are probably incorrect. She doesn't have a thing, but I need to let her through anyway. I will now get... Um, I will now get uh, cited for it. Wait, she left. She just walked. I approved her. Why did she why did she just walk away? Was I supposed to deny her? Okay. Uh Kaldivy Christov. Uh, it is where's uh, Astorska he's from? East Greston. Yep, eighty three. He looks like that. He has he is not the correct weight. He's slightly heavier. Yes, you have. So now we're gonna search this guy. Be warned, there is some uh Pixel, pixelated nudity coming up here. This is a, obviously a uh, thing against the... So let's have a look. Oh my god. So that is evidently not... Oh god. Evidently not what we want. So let's find the basic rule. No weapons or contraband. Go like that. Yeah. Yes we can detain him. Right, so the day ended. Unfortunately, we don't get paid for this guy because we took too long. And he's out. 
so he will be detained because he was trying to smuggle something into the country. I don't know what it was. Oh, double click for quick inspect. Oh, that would be quite useful. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't do very well here. Penalty down, rent cost 30, so all of these things. I could stop paying for food and heat, but then my wife, my son, my mother-in-law and my uncle would start getting worse. They would get cold, they would get hungry, eventually they'd fall ill. Um, and all sorts of horrible things would happen to them, I'm sure. So let's upgrade everything. I still have 90 in the bank, even after that, because I have got my easy mode crutch on. So, you know, that should be that should be called something else. They should call that something like, you know, social security or, uh, you know, uh, socialist benefit or whatever. <laughs> so uh, th seven people I managed to accurately portray and 35 of them got through. I'm not sure what happened because that Stephen E. Greer was supposed to be approved and she just walked away, even though I gave her an approval stamp. So, I do not know why she wasn't approved. Maybe I was supposed to decline her? Maybe, I don't know. So, we'll do maybe one more day and then call it call it for this. Breakthrough in spinal surgery. Mm. Only possible with Astuscan expertise. Oh, very good. Walk to work. I love this walk to work. It's like, of course, I won't drive. There, isn't, there are no cars here. Only the famous people have cars. It's now December 7th, 1982. It's another grey day. So no news today, just the wanted criminals. That's it. Um, so some new people, some new faces to look out for. We'll drag them all the way over to the side here. I've still got my award for sufficiency. We need to put these things over here. All of these useless things we don't need. We'll need the rule book again. Uh, the regional map, because we always need that. So put that over there. I could put the cards probably to the edge because I only need to just drag them over. So managing your desk space is real, is quite tough when you have to do it, so let's give it a go. Okay. Right. Antigra. Gria. Out of Grouse. Kasha. Female. 83. She looks like that. She doesn't look like a suspected criminal. She has the correct weight. She seems correct height. She, her documents haven't expired, and that can go back. Check the codes against both. Kasha, Kasha, forever. Does she say she's immigrating? Yes, she does. Uh, 18th of the 12th. Yep, that's also fine. Right. She is in approval. Stamp out. Doesn't have to fully stamp the document, just so long as we get it. Goodbye. Next, please. Okay. Oh. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Quick! There's a bomb! Quick! There's a bomb! It's a bomb! You should... Yes, we should evacuate! It's beeping! What? Just disable it? Oh my god. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, cut the wires in order. Okay, wire one. Okay, wire two. Uh, wire three. And wire four. Oh, thank God. We should close the checkpoint. <laughs> Give the bomb to me. Oh, God. That is the first time that's happened. Oh, dear. So it gets really tense, this. It's, it's very geopolitical. You know, there are other things. Like, this guy... When uh, earlier in the game, someone tried to come in. Oh, time is passing. Sorry, I forgot about this. Give them the bomb. God, he's not very happy about that. Not even worth much. Okay, fine. So the guard is my friend. He, he kind of like gives me a cut for anyone I detain, which is useful. Some extra money. Oh dear. Okay, right. Coletia. Vendor City. That's correct. She looks slightly like a suspected terrorist. No? Okay. Seemingly not. Um, what about that top one? Nope. Okay. Uh, that's correct. How is she? Her things ex is fine. Her height seems wavy hair. Yes, she does have wavy hair. Yep. Uh, codes match. Valid. Elena Marakarik. Yes, I think she's okay. Let's hope. Approved. In. Go, 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 go! Get out, quick! 
I'm taking too much time. That's the problem. They take so much time to just leave the... Oh, damn it! Forged entry permit. Oh, wait, I didn't check the stamps. I did not check the stamps. I didn't check the stamps. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Frederick Sarstart. Engineering. Right, he's my final engineer. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, he's from Impor. Shustinego. Yep. Male. 36. Wait. Is he a suspected terrorist? No, he isn't. Okay. Uh, male. Yep. 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 He looks like his picture. Okay. His thing. He is the right weight. He seems the right height. He has no facial hair. Hmm. What? He's got a massive beard! Oh. Alright, well... <laughs> he's got that massive beard. That seems illogical to me. Uh, okay. Work for one month. Did he say that? Uh, be here a few weeks. Yep. Um, hasn't expired that document. The codes match. Frederick Sarstart. Yes. Okay. Yep. I think you're alright. I'm a very lenient immigration officer. I, I really don't have time to check everyone. It's only me! I'm having this massive queue and it's only me. Come on. Let him be okay. Yeah, he was. Thank God. Okay, right. So, he's here for drafting. Imran. Imran Khan? That's a famous guy, isn't it? That's a cricketer. Imran Khan, isn't he? I think so. I think... I know you could submit names to this. I tried to submit my name, but it was declined for some reason. Wait, this guy's female. You're not female. Yeah. Are you a woman? <laughs> Why do I ask? Well, we're going to find out whether you like it or not, because I have horrible cameras. It's like these things, the cameras that the Department of Homeland Security have when you're trying to get into the United States. So is this a lady? Okay, it is a lady. Right, that's, that's fine then. We'll just put her picture there. Um... So Imran Khan, a lady, surprisingly, 64 kilograms. Yep, that's that's in date. Seems right height. Okay, codes, Imran Khan, work. So they often do that to trip you up because either you just decline them immediately and then it would actually be the person is fine. So murderous, I didn't check that. Obristan. Oh. Yes, all right. Approved. Go. Go. Takes too long to stamp. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. I want people to run through the checkpoint. Okay, regional map. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, yes. Here, here. There, there, there. Go. Thank you. Okay. Uh, only one agent approved. We cannot succeed without your help. Nuskoska was born. I approve that guy. Too many and women disappear again. Okay, right. Uh, give it back. Thank you. So that's some kind of order agent. I swear I approve both people. Uh, papers, please. Okay, Kalechia. Uh, vendor. Stay a couple of days. She, Vendor. Why is she All right. Uh, yep, Vendor is an issuing city. Um, yep. We want to check this bit. 49 kilograms, yep. Seems correctish height. Thumbprint, you can't really do anything with that. Uh, 11th, no, it isn't 11th yet. Uh, codes, codes correct. 30th or 12th, yep, hasn't expired. Names match up. Okay, I think you're good. Really too lenient on these people. It's like one of these people. They're a terrorist, I'm sure. Oh, wait, was that a terrorist? Damn it! Non matching photo? Oh, I didn't even look at that. I don't think the picture. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Duration of stay. So, uh, he seems to match his photo, but he doesn't. He's not a terrorist. He is from Impor. Uh, that is an issuing city. I think people's passports are getting. Um, passport forgeries are getting better. Uh, 171, yeah, more or less. Dark hair, yep. Um, hasn't expired. Fine. Uh, codes and sell. Another check. Yep. Yep. Uh, first of verse 83. Yep. Did he say he was here for transit? Yes. All right. Fine. You're fine. You're fine. Please be fine. Please be fine. Go, 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 go. Run. Entry is not guaranteed. I know. Okay. I think this is the last person of the day. We've got about 10 people. Uh, oh, so this is a diplomat, apparently. Or she claims to be. I'm always suspicious of diplomats because... 
they uh, there aren't many. So she is a entitled to enter this country. Uh, she is female. She got the time's going to end, so we're going to spend as much time as her. There you go. Everyone's going to leave now. So I'm going to try and catch her out. Let's have a look. See, so Godiva Kadorin from the United Federation. Shingleton, yep. Uh, the codes match. It does look like her picture. Let's just double check she does. Sometimes it, it's difficult to tell. Uh, okay. Yep, the codes on her things match. Uh, let's have a look at... Actually, that's everything, really. Female, yeah. I think I have to approve her. She seems valid. Let's just have a look at the uh, diplomatic authorization thing. Must have a seal. Yes, it does have a seal. Is the document seal correct for the United Federation? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. She seems like a valid diplomat then, apparently. So, go for it. Approved. Glory to us, Foster. And there we go. Another day over. That person did seem valid, thankfully. So, here's the tallying up. Still same amount of savings. Not a lot, whole lot happened that day, so yeah, it was an okay day, hopefully, um, apart from I only just broke even. But the easy mode thing, I wouldn't have broken even. So what's happening in the news tomorrow? Ministries fight over staff, qualified guards and soldiers in demand. Ooh, consolidation reassignment at the border. Oh god, am I going to lose my job? Okay, so what's happening this morning? Ministry of Justice has approved the outer guard detail. You are now responsible for controlling trespasser activity. Pro the provided... Wait! Oh, we've dropped a guard! There's only this one man now. We used to have, like, three people here protecting the outer border, but now apparently I am also going to be helping out with that. So what's the key for? You are now responsible for controlling trespasser activity. The provided key can use to unlock the tranquilizer gun once an alarm is raised. You will receive a bonus for stopping any trespasser, a smaller bonus provided for firing on but missing your target. Weapons protocol. Viewing section diagram. Okay, so you put the key into the... Um, into where? Oh, I guess it'll appear when someone tries to in scan it. Select the gun, aim and fire. Time is short, act fast. And there's today's wanted criminals. So the, the entire game continues in this vein. Um, and I think, yeah, it's about a month. Uh, apparently there are multiple endings, so you can get a uh, different state depending on what you've done. Um, there's my lovely award. I think the minister is due to come back, or the guy from the Ministry of Admissions is due to come back to check on how I've been doing. I think he's going to fire me because I have not been doing well at all. Hang on wall. I wish I had a wall to hang these on, but there's no, there is no wall. It just says, you know, I mean I can't, unless I, unless when I open this I, uh, I don't, I think I, if I press that, Oh yeah, oh, there you go. I can actually hang it behind the suspects. That is really cool. I did not know that. There you go. So now I've got this thing, a little banner, 1980, and uh, the plaque for things. So there you go, sprucing up the immigration booth a little bit there. I don't know where the key goes. We can just leave the key on the desk probably for now, but at least it clears up some space because there was so much stuff to keep along. Uh, but yeah, I would really recommend it. It's it's a really high impact kind of like uh, game, and uh, it, you have to do a lot of thinking. You know, you have you'll have to be on your toes. It feel it's the closest I'm sure a game has ever gotten to replicating what real immigration inspectors have to go through. You know, they have to look out for all this stuff. Um, so so yeah, uh, that is it. I uh, I will see you sometime next time. But I will leave you with the Southern Television logo, and. Uh, just about coming up to eight o'clock you can go and have a bite to eat if you haven't already or uh, go and do something else see you next time